Hi, I'm Deborah Schneider. Welcome to 1000 Tacos. Today I am cooking authentic Tijuana style standing in line at the border churros. If you've ever spent four hours standing in line at the border, these probably saved your life. I know they saved mine. So hang around. Let's learn how to make them. They're easy. So step one, we're going to boil two cups of water, a little bit of salt, Crisco, two tablespoons, a heaping tablespoon of white sugar. So we're going to let that come to the boil, but we're not going to let it reduce. And we're going to sift two cups of flour, level cups, not scoop cups. I just do it straight on a piece of paper towel. While we're doing that, we're going to make our cinnamon sugar. No need to measure this. Not too much cinnamon. So, on the back burner, we have a small saucepan that's got about an inch of oil in it. I'm just using vegetable oil to fry. You could use more Crisco if you love Crisco. Don't, for Pete's sake, use olive oil for this because it'll just taste like grody and awful. I'm going to turn this on kind of medium heat. So that'll be ready when my dough is ready. Water's boiling, everything's melted, everything's dissolved. As soon as it's boiling, take it off the stove and add all of that flour all in one swell food. And then you're going to beat it, and you're going to beat it, and beat it. And what you're doing here is you're developing gluten, and this is what's going to give it the structure. So we have this lovely dough here. We're going to want to work it while it's still pretty warm, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to add four eggs, break them into a bowl, and you're going to want to add this kind of slowly. Start it up. So we're going to add one egg, and let it do its thing. And I'm going to take my spatula. Start pushing the dough down inside so it all gets an equal amount of egg mix down to it. And what you're trying to do is you're going to beat in one egg at a time. Okay. I'll try this at home. Next step is a pastry bag. And this is a star tip. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this in a bag and with your spatula, Put it into the bag, all the way to the bottom. Twist the top like this, and that gives you your force for piping, okay? So we're gonna make sure our oil is hot by doing a sacrificial churro. So you can see the bubbles all around, it's cooking pretty fast, this is good. This is exactly what you want right here. I like to use chopsticks when I'm deep frying, I find them very handy for handling hot things. These need to be done a dark golden brown so that the insides cook. You need to eat them warm. I've got a plate here with some paper towels and the draining rack. So these look gorgeous. They're really nice golden brown. Lift them out, put them right onto the rack to drain. Once your churros have drained for a while, you want to take them off and start putting them on your serving plate. And then I sprinkle them with a little bit of sugar as we go and a little bit of the bar and chocolate. The most fantastic addition to these that you've ever had. Traditionally in Mexico, they would have hot chocolate and dip these in the hot chocolate and eat them. This is way faster and easier, so. Just think of it as a happiness delivery system that you can make in about five minutes. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.